Hey, it's Joel from Rapid Plus TCT. I'm here with my buddy Scandy. How's it going, man? How's it going, Joel? Rapid liquid print. That's correct. This is it right here. This is it. This is fascinating. Like everybody that I've talked to at the show has said, have you seen the goo printer? Have you seen the goo guys? Goo guys. The I goo like that. guys. Yeah, this is it. So this is, correct me if I'm wrong, silicone in some sort of... Hydrogel. Yeah. It's just a hydrogel. And it is massive in size. Yeah, we are, you know, our build volume, which is a standard half a meter cube. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to do large and small parts into one. You're doing this in 100% silicone. That's correct. Two part platinum cure silicone. Just standard everyday stuff. Exactly. We're using kind of industry standard materials to print with. What would be, I see, I see demo parts here, mm -hmm. but what would be some of the use cases for a machine that could make parts like this? Absolutely. Some of the early markets that we got into involve prosthetics, orthotics, We've even played with some fashion. I'm sure some people have seen our Coperni bag with oh, Disney. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a good marketing for us. Um, but beyond that, we're also doing gasket and seal application as well. That would make sense. And being that, that two-part platinum silicone, it, the cure time is still gonna be hours. Yep. But one of your guys said, if you put in a catalyst, you can get it curing quick, right? Absolutely. Obviously, because of the speed that we're printing, we print quite fast. We were doing things in a minutes, right? So for us, we can afford to keep it curing for a couple hours, but ideally in the future, the goal is, as it's printing, it's curing fast enough so that as soon as it's done, it's ready to come out. That's just, this is sci-fi. It's reality, actually. Well, I know it's reality, but again, I'm, I'm staring at a part printing, yeah. and it's appearing in mid-air, yeah. mid-goo, and we mid like hydrogel. Call, and the way we call it, we describe it as gravity-free manufacturing. That's our process. Well, with a name like Levity, I think that lends itself to being a gravity-free process. The hydrogel itself, what is the consistency of it? What what would be familiar to me? Yeah, I'd like think of hand sanitizer. So when you touch that, you feel really? that it's the same kind of consistency. That's it? That's it. Wow. That's enough to support silicone? That's enough to support it. Obviously, it's all within kind of our own internal research. We've, we've balanced it in a way that it's soft enough to allow for the silicone to come in, but obviously enough to support it and not let it actually drip out. Because I was just going to say, like, this isn't just hand sanitizer and silicone. Like there's some research and development that's gone into this, right? Yeah, I, I know we make it sound like it's easy. It looks like it's easy, but there's a lot of work that goes into it to figure out. A lot it of out. work to make it look easy, right? Yes. How long have you guys been around doing this? Uh, we spun out of MIT in 2020. So we've been kind of working on the oh. process of making a product since then. But the research dates back to 2015. Oh, all the way back then? Yeah. Okay, so then back in 2015, you were trying to find a way to, to do this process. And you, how far did you get within MIT before you broke out in 2020? Yeah, so the, the, the idea and collaboration came from Steelcase, looking at printing furniture in large scale application. And we looked into existing additive manufacturing and realized material property wasn't there. It's hard to make big parts in general. So we were using the existing processes and realized how do we solve that? So myself, Bjorn Sparman, who's our CTO and co-founder of the company, we all um, put together effort at MIT with Skylar Tibbetts, Jared Locks to solve that problem. So it's been kind of years of developing it, at least two years. And then we showcased it in uh, 2017 at Design Miami. And people started asking, where's the printer? Where's the printer? Where's the printer? <laughs> Shut up and take my money. So we thought, hey, maybe this is a time to actually think about starting a business because of that. So the so four of us decided to do it. Wow. Bjorn and I left MIT in 2020 and we've been at it since. Did you, uh, just on the business side of things, when you left MIT, was it venture funded, angel funded? Did you have uh, investment opportunity? Like, like how, did, how did you take this as an idea? Because again, this is obviously not a cheap machine and the process itself, the research and develop that went into it is, is costly. Yep. Like a lot of people doing a lot of really cool things for a long time. So how did you, how did you take this idea and create this business from yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna sound a little cliche, but when Bjorn and I left in 2020, <laughs> Obviously, COVID happened, yeah. and then we had to figure out how do we make this work. His basement, my garage, we had a machine, we kind of started working that way. So we bootstrapped it for almost a year. That's amazing. Until we got our first investment with uh, BMW iVentures in oh, 2021. Perfect, okay, and you've been rocking it ever since. Ever since. I see these parts in here, and obviously you're doing some smaller, small, <laughs> smallish parts <laughs> yeah. for a trade show, and those are still, those are hours away from curing, right? right? Yeah. But can I just go grab something really Absolutely. quick? Absolutely, yeah, okay. go for it. Because <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Yeah. This is a part printed in your machine. Correct. And how long was this to print? So this print is actually 200 minutes. <laughs> 200, 200. So 
little over three hours. Yep. And you've got yourself this print. A fully printed, full size, one go, completely printed seal system. But in silica, but in silica. like I'm looking at this and there's a hint of a layer right. line, like like hints of it, but but you guys have got the extrusion down so good because this is smooth. As it's printing, it's still a liquid and we're really giving it the opportunity to blend onto each other. So unlike other processes where you're waiting for a layer to cure in order to add onto it, we don't have to do that. We let it be a liquid as long oh. as possible so that it becomes homogenous and have an isotropic performance. Oh, so you are 100% you are isotropic dense silicone here. I'm gonna toss it to you, ready? <laughs> oh, there we go. I know everybody out there is gonna be really interested in this because what you're doing is fascinating. So. Look at the camera yep. and just tell everybody where they can go to find out more about the levity. Absolutely. So you can go to our website at rapidliquidprint.com. We've just announced the levity. There's a wait list that's open now for you guys to <laughs> sign up. Um, we'll be shipping in 2026. Really excited. It's been a great show at Rapid. And we can't wait for you guys to actually bring gravity-free manufacturing into your facility. Oh, that was fantastic. So, so listen, Thanks for making this far. If you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in and print squishy things. <laughs> and as always, high five. Got one? Boom. Oh, best one of the day. <laughs>